Hi everyone, this is Emmy today. I'm going to show you how to do the Elizabeth stitch. And this is another stitch that you could use to make anything. Um, blankets, afghans, boot cuffs, fingerless gloves, bags, dishcloths, scarves, just about anything. It's very versatile. I'm going to work with a 65 millimeter crochet hook and worsted weight yarn. To work the Elizabeth stick, you chain in multiples of two plus an additional four. So I'm going to start with chain 14. In the fourth stitch from the hook, one, two, three, four, you're going to insert the hook through the stitch and pick up the yarn and pull it through. Now yarn over the hook and insert through the same stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through and you will have four stitches on the hook. Pick up the yarn, pull it through all four. Chain one, skip one. In the next stitch you're going to do the same thing. Insert the hook through the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through. Yarn over the hook, go through the same stitch, pick up the yarn, pull it through and you'll have four on the hook and then you're going to pick up the yarn and pull it through all four. Chain one, skip one. Insert the hook through the stitch and pick up the yarn, yarn over into the same stitch, pull through four loops on the hook, pull through all four. Chain one, skip one. I'm going to continue across the row. And there's the first row of your Elizabeth stitch. Now every row is going to be exactly the same. It's going to be chain three, one, two, three, and turn. Now find that first chain one space right here, and we're going to do the same thing. Insert the hook through the stitch and pick up the yarn, yarn over the hook, back through the same space, pick up the yarn, pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through all four stitches on the hook chain one. Go to the next chain one space, complete the same stitch. Chain one, next chain one space, And the last stitch will be worked into that turning chain. So into the stitch and complete the Elizabeth stitch. Okay, and that's how it looks with two rows. And there's the Elizabeth stitch with additional rows. So there you have a very versatile stitch that you can use for making lots of different garments and articles. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.